Hello everyone, Penny Productions here. Today I am out here doing some Uber Eats and Deliveroo, except I am not doing it in Brighton today. No, I am heading off to Eastbourne just to see a different town, experience a different location, and just to see what it's like in other towns. So while it's not very far from Brighton, we're going on a short adventure. And we are online in Eastbourne. And as you can see, there's the pier. I've just been taking some photos for a thumbnail. Hopefully one of them came out okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, I've just ridden down to the pier just because I thought, hey, that's something I want to see while I'm here. And we're already getting an order. McDonald's. Let's go. On a 1.2. That was so quick. It's quicker than I've had orders in Brighton from going online. I mean, I come from sort of just outside the town centre in Brighton, but even so, that was quick. Right, let's get off to McDonald's, first order of the day. Hopefully they're quicker than they are in Brighton. Well, we are off. First delivery, point four of a mile away. Uh, it's like a bunch of Happy Meals, probably because they've got the Pokemon toys at the moment, but I imagine they're running out. The one in Brighton had none last night, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, and even before I'd unlocked my bike, I had got another McDonald's order from the same place. So, yeah, we're going to be going back there. So, first order delivered. That was 360 for like, I don't know, 20 minutes of work, maybe? Not bad. I mean, I've hardly been here, haven't even been here an hour yet, and I'm already on my second order. I spent like 15 minutes without being online, so it's not bad. We'll see how it goes the rest of the day. Well, it has been 20 minutes since we last spoke and I've picked up that order. It's going 0.9 of a mile away, according to the Uber app. So we're going to head down there uh, and it's like going to take 10 minutes or something. There is a 1.4 now, so that's good. And um, yeah, just trying to work out which junction we're going off on. So four pound and two pence for that order, bringing us up to 7.62, so pays for my train fare here. Got a Pizza Express, no thank you. Other, reject. Yeah, I don't want to do Pizza Express orders, even if it is flat here. <laughs> I still know that pizzas are not the way to go. The trouble is now, I don't know which way to go back to the town. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which way I think I've gone past the turning I came down, to be honest, at this point. Eastbourne is staying busy on the delivery map in places. Uh, just got to hope that I can avoid McDonald's orders from now on. Eastbourne is now on a 1.4 boost on Uber though. I don't think Deliver are doing one in Eastbourne today. So, um, maybe could have picked a better day to come in terms of the boost. But it worked out as being quite convenient for weather I mean at the moment it's kind of sunny so that's good and yeah um, it just works out until journey times as well it's now oh what's this McDonald's uh, I know how slow they are so I'm gonna turn them down for now I've turned down two orders now uh, another one well it's a longer journey takes me to a different area of Eastbourne I'm gonna risk it so McDonald's order collected and this time we're going two miles and they only took what like uh, oh sh gone the wrong way still getting used to the road layout <laughs> so used to knowing exactly where I'm going anyway that's what I was saying um, two miles away up towards a place called Hampton Park or something anyway we're gonna head off also, they were much quicker this time than they were 
the previous order only took like 10 minutes which you know compared to some McDonald's is pretty quick compared to other restaurants it's abysmal well we earned 721 for that one and we got a delivery order coming in what's that a Taco Bell which I think is this end of town so I'm gonna do that 591 as my charger falls out my phone and um yeah gonna turn deliver off do that one oh yeah only 500 meters away that's not bad we also have the possibility of this one becoming a double and that way we can uh earn a bit more than the 591 or whatever it was we quoted i don't think delivery oh yeah as i said i don't think delivery are doing a boost tonight so we'll see um how this one goes at least i'm getting a delivery order in in a place i've never been to so I picked up the Taco Bell order and it's going the other end of Eastbourne. So, yeah, going to the each extremity of Eastbourne, it seems, at the moment. Uh, which is why it was paying us £5. But the delivery, uh, sorry, delivery, the, the pickup was pretty quick. So hopefully that bodes well for earnings. Oh, the other road. <laughs> no worries. Thank you too. On. Enjoy. Cheers, yes, we got it. <laughs> so the Taco Bell order has been delivered. Got a KFC one that's taking me back into the centre of Eastbourne. So uh, that's kind of convenient. I think it's about a four pound delivery fee. So. At least I get back to the centre and then maybe we can pick up some Uber orders from there. I think we're on £20 in two hours. Yeah, just about £20 in two hours, I think. So £10 an hour is not too bad, considering some of it is on a 1.4 and some of it is on no boost. I'm finding you can ride relatively quickly around here. Um, just because it's so flat that you can keep your speed up more than you can in Brighton, which is very nice. Like I'm averaging 9.4, I think the highest I've done in Brighton is about 9.1. So, not doing too bad really. That's not a bad view. You get the big cliffs and the pier over there. Okay, that's another order collected. And just gonna wait for a clear gap on the roundabout and I think that's our gap very nicely slotted into I haven't done a KFC order since uh, the Uber order went really badly so that KFC order is complete I haven't seen how much we earned for it but they did give me a £2 cash tip and we have a McDonald's order on a 1.4 so we're going to head off to do that one so I picked up the McDonald's order and it's not going too far um, I think about a mile but it is on a 1.4 so that's good six pound and six pence for that order bringing us up to 20.89 in uber plus about 13 or something in delivery is what 33 in about three hours now just under three hours not bad earnings once again I am actually pretty happy with that I'm going to try and stay on Uber for at least the next hour just because they've got the 1.4 going and it seems like the McDonald's is spread up a little bit. What have we got now? Okay, Four Bears Burger Club. We'll give that a go. Never heard of them. So my order became a double with a Taco Bell and we're off to deliver that one first and then we're off to the second delivery point. Drop off number one has been made. Heading off to drop off number two. Starting to recognise some of these areas now. It's only been what, like two attempts or two like journeys this way. One each way I think and then uh, yeah, starting to know my way around. £10.60 for that one. Bringing us up to 31 49 in Uber plus the 13. Still in Deliveroo makes uh 44 in what four hours what 735 i arrived at say 420 less than four hours 
Not bad. Not bad at all. I've just stopped off at the Tesco to get a bottle of water because I forgot to bring my reusable one with me. Yeah, I know, stupid me. A bit excessive, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, we've done that. So I've been able to get back hydrated and we're riding back into the centre of town to try and get another 1.4 order before 8 o'clock. That'll be the ideal. Well, I'm back in the main town area and I haven't got an Uber order yet so I'm going to turn delivery one uh, and hope that that one comes in good. Oh, it's not even showing like it's moderate, it's just showing dead. Delivery is not, oh no, it's showing busy, okay. It's busy, that's a good sign. Oh, here we go, we've got a creams order, a double, may as well. Not getting anything on Uber. We'll go offline there and we'll head to Creams. Okay, picked up those two orders. The first one isn't going too far. I haven't seen where the second one is going yet, but I think it's going a little bit further out. Wow, it's so quiet in Eastbourne. Cannot hear a sound except for well myself and the wind. It makes such a change from Brighton, which basically just doesn't go quiet. I'm not sure if it bodes well for staying much longer here. How quiet it's got. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe everybody's at home ordering. Well, it's got dark, so it's definitely been a while. It's about 10 p.m. now. I think I'm gonna go another hour or so before the train back to Brighton. Uh, I, I've done about 40 miles so far, which is a new record for me. I'm very pleased. It's also my longest shift in time. I don't think I've ever started like a long shift at 4 p.m. before. So I started like an hour earlier than I would usually do, or half an hour earlier than I would usually do at least. And yeah, it's been a good night really. Earnings have been good. I'd say similar to Wrighton really, in terms of overall earnings. I think I've been going six hours and I've earned over 60 pounds so far. So similar earnings even though it's flatter. Um, but it's been nice coming to a different place. I didn't really narrate the last few deliveries. I sort of forgot getting in the zone a bit, but yeah, we are heading about another mile to McDonald's drop-off point. So just picked up a subway order from this petrol station and we're heading out. So it's almost 11 p.m. This is the latest I've been out. This road is a little bit sketchy, I'll be honest. It's like 40 miles an hour and they give us this tiny bike lane. But it's the only way back into town, really. I'm 44.04 in Uber and just below 40 in delivery, which is uh, about just under 80 pounds, or just over 80 pounds even, in less than eight hours. So over 10 pound an hour in Eastbourne, so that's good. I've turned everything off at the moment because I've been taken out to Colgate. So I want to try and get back into the centre of Eastbourne so I'm near the train station at least and hope I can get some short deliveries once I'm there. So it turns out delivery would close the rider area at 11. I mean, I've only got about an hour left in town till the train, the next train back to Brighton. So. We'll see, I've just had a, a lawn disorder which is like right out on the outskirts of Eastbourne and at this point of the night I'm not really feeling like 
going that far out just in case something happens so yeah i'm heading back down into town anyway so if i get a mcdonald's or something i mean they might be closed by now honestly but if i get something like in the town center i'll do that well i've made it to town without an order but i'm on 50 miles tonight 9.6 miles an hour average speed so yeah i'm gonna have my pasty and perhaps call it a night so i've just picked up my last mcdonald's order of the night my last order final of the night i think it's going 0.5 a mile away so yeah haven't got far to go okay everyone that is it i am back at eastbourne station waiting for my train and i'm gonna let you know the final total so today's earnings was 50 21 in uber 37.22 in delivery plus two pound cash tip making 89.43 in was it 11.30 so i started at 4.30 i'd say about seven hours roughly seven or eight hours between about that um so over 10 pound an hour uh let me just work out the maths i'll put it on the screen <laughs> uh there you go so yeah i would say pretty decent Eastbourne to be fair delivery did turn off at 11 so you know not a late town but was good I did 52.14 miles on Strava so pretty insane uh, mileage and an average speed of 9.5 on my manual bike so not an e-bike no electrical assistance on this all the power of my legs so if you enjoyed this video smash the like button if you didn't like it smash the dislike button and let me know why in the comments and if you have any suggestions for places to visit in the south east of the uk maybe even the southwest depending on where i am located at the time then do let me know in the comment section below but other than that i will see you next time for probably a video back in brighton thanks for watching everyone